of exercise 12.1. It is said that we have to find the ratio of 30 minutes to 1.5 hours. So 30 minutes will become 30 minutes only and 1.5 hours can be written as 1 hour plus 30 minutes. So this can be written as 30 is to this will become 30 plus this will become 60. One hour will become 60 minutes and plus 30 minutes. So this will become 30 is to 90. So we can nullify this. So this will become 3 is to 9 and it will become 1 is to 3. Because 3 is to 9 means 3 by 9 is equal to 1 by 3. So it can be written as 1 is to 3. If you have understood, raise your hand. Very good. Question number B. Question number 7B. 40 centimeter to 1.5 meter. So this can be written as 40 centimeter is to 1 meter plus 500 centimeter. So this can be written as 40 centimeter is to 100 centimeter plus 50, 500 centimeter. Now this will not be 500, this will be 50. This will be 50, isn't it? centimeter. So this will be 40 centimeter is to 150 centimeter. This gets cancelled. This is odd, this is even. So we cannot get anything else. So this implies the ratio will be 4 is to 15. So since this is odd number and it is even number and they have no common factor. So cannot be simplified further. Hence, this will be the answer.
नेक्स्ट वी विल डू क्वेश्चन नंबर सी सेवन सी फिफ्टी फाइव पैसे टू रुपीज वन दिस कैन बीटेड एज फिफ्टी फाइव पैसे इज टू हंड्रेड पैसे 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 विल बी कैंसिल्ड इट विल बिकम फाइव इलेवन टाइम्स फिफ्टी फाइव इज टू हंड्रेड सो फाइव इलेवन टाइम्स एंड फाइव ट्वेंटी टाइम्स इज इंट इट divide both side by 5 so it cannot be simplified any further so this will be the answer now we will do question number 7d फाइव हंड्रेड मिली लीटर टू टू लीटर्स सो दिस विल बी फाइव हंड्रेड इज टू टू थाउजेंड मिली लीटर सो मिली लीटर एंड मिली लीटर विल बी कैंसल्ड दिस विल कैंसल दिस this will cancel this divide both side by 5 so 5 ones are 5 and 5 fours are 20 so this will be the answer is it it what is the hint divide divide both side by 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वी विल डू नाउ इन ए ईयर सीमा अर्न रुपीज दिस मच एंड सेव दिस मच वॉट इज द रेशियो ऑफ मनी सीमा अर्न टू द मनी सी सेव ओके सो अर्निंग इज टू सेविंग वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ए अर्निंग इज टू सेविंग saving means what saving means to keep in bank or to keep in piggy bank isn't it this is saving very important for life okay now c earns rupees 1 lakh 50000 rupees and saving is 50000 rupees so we have to find the ratio so this zero will be cut with this zero 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 so it is equal to how much 3 is to 1 isn't it why because if you divide 15 by 5 and if you divide 5 by 5 so this will become 3 and this will become 1 so this is the answer so do you save money do you all save your pocket money develop this habit okay this will be a very good habit yes how many of you do it uh nimit narayan does ronik soni does mukul singh does Aditi Maheshwari does okay. Yes, Gaurav Agarwal does very good. You should save money. Okay. Next is question number B, eight B. Question number eight B. Money she saves is to money she spends. okay so saving is to spending we have to find out so spending will be how we will find out spending is not given to find spending what we have to do spending is equal to earning minus saving jitna save kiya usko hata denge to baki nikal jayega kitna spend kiya so this will be equal to how much this will be equal to 1 lakh 50000 minus 50000 this will be equal to how much this will be equal to 1 lakh what 1 lakh rupya so 
we will write answer will be saving is 50000 is to 1 lakh once 10 100 thousand 10 thousand lakh now we'll cut this with this this with this this with this this with this and this with this so it will become one is to two raise your hand if you have understood good चैटिंग में क्या आया है बहुत किसी का चैट आया है चैट पढ़ लूं जरा 33 चैट्स ओके आंसर दिया है सभी ने सर आज के लिए बस इतना ही बाकी कल कराना हां हुकुम आपकी कत हुकुम चलेगा ऑलराइट क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 So question number eight we can cut now. It is not required. This is cut, done. Question number nine and ten. Question number nine. There are 102 teachers and 300, 3,300 students. What is the ratio of teachers to the number of students? Okay. Teacher is to student ratio. Okay, we have to find. So teacher is equal to 102 and student is equal to 3300. So is there any common factor between 102 and 103300? Is there any common factor?
Hmm. So with two we can deduct this. Okay. Let us divide it first by two. Let then see what happens. So if I divide it by two, and divide this also by two, so it will become what? Hundred and two divided by two. Fifty one times. And three three zero zero will become two ones are two. Then one three zero zero two six are twelve. Okay. Then one zero. Then five ten one zero. And then how much? Zero. Okay. So one six five zero divided multiplied by two. Let us see. Zero ten zero one twelve thirteen here. Thirty two and thirty three. Right. So this can be written as fifty one is to one six. Five zero. Okay. So fifty one. Is it a prime number? Seventeen threes are seventeen threes are how much? Twenty one, one, two, and five. And one six five zero divided by three would be one six five zero divided by three. Three fives are fifteen. Then one five three fives are fifteen zero. So this I can write as if I divide it by three, divide this by three, and divide this also by three. So this will become seventeen is to five five zero. Now this is a this is a prime number. Seventeen is a prime number. Okay, so it cannot be reduced any further. Okay, so it becomes a prime number now. so cannot be reduced further so answer will become 17 is to So this was rough work, isn't it?
This is the answer. Now we'll do question number 10. Question number 10. In a college of 4,320 4, students, 2,300 were girls. Find the ratio of girls to the number of students. Okay. So girls is to total number of students. This implies girls are two, three, zero, zero is to total number of students is equal to four, three, two, zero. So we have to simplify this. Let us check this and this will be cancelled. Then if I divide it by two, then it will become one, one, five, and this will become two one six now does one one five and uh, two one six have any common factor Two one six. What we will do, we will do the prime factorization of this. To check okay we'll do some rough work see one one five can be written as five into twenty three and two one six can be written as Two one zero eight, then two five four, then two two seven, then three nine, then three three. So there are no more common factors. Okay, so they don't have any more common factor. Two into two into two into 3 into 3 into 3 so no common factors are there 
no more common factors are there so cannot be simplified this this will become the answer this is 10 a similarly we will do 10 b number of boys to the number of girls okay number of boys will be equal to number of boys will be equal to total number of students minus number of girls so total number of students will be equal to Four three two zero minus number of girls two three zero zero so zero two zero two so it will become number of boys will be two zero two zero is to number of girls two three zero 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 and zero can be cancelled this can become one zero one this can become One one five. So this will be the answer. so ratio should be ratio should be in the simplest form okay it cannot be simplified any further it cannot be simplified any further okay this is the answer here that's all for today